Feeling overwhelmed by emotional pain? Discover Eckhart Tolle's powerful approach to healing and transform your life starting today. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, love and loss, moments of triumph and times of despair. Each thread, each experience adds to the richness and complexity of our existence, pleasure and pain. While we eagerly embrace the bright hues of life, the moments that make our hearts sing and our spirits soar, we often struggle to confront the shadows that inevitably fall upon our hearts. Emotional pain in its myriad forms, grief, heartbreak, anger and fear can feel like an unbearable weight, a burden that we are ill-equipped to carry. Fear can feel like an unbearable weight pressing down on us, threatening to consume us entirely. We build walls around our hearts, seeking to shield ourselves from the sting of suffering. We build walls around our hearts, seeking to shield ourselves from the sting of suffering. We tell ourselves that if we can just avoid the pain, if we can just keep it at bay, we will be safe. But what if true healing lies not in resisting the darkness, but in turning towards it with open arms, seeking to shield ourselves from the sting of suffering? But what if true healing lies not in resisting the darkness, but in turning towards it with open arms? What if the path to wholeness requires us to face our pain head on, to acknowledge it, to sit with it, and to allow it to be a part of our story? But in turning towards it with open arms, what if the path to wholeness requires us to face our pain head on, to acknowledge it, to sit with it, and to allow it to be a part of our story? In our quest for happiness, we often forget that pain is an integral part of the human experience. It is through our struggles and our suffering that we grow, that we learn, that we become more compassionate and empathetic beings. Pain teaches us about our own strength, about our capacity to endure, and about the depths of our own hearts. When we allow ourselves to feel our pain, to truly experience it, we open ourselves up to the possibility of healing. We give ourselves permission to grieve, to mourn, to rage and to cry. We honor our emotions and in doing so, we honor ourselves. The process of healing is not a linear one. It is messy, it is unpredictable and it is deeply personal. There is no right or wrong way to heal, no timeline that we must adhere to. Each of us must find our own path, our own way of navigating the darkness. For some, healing may come through creative expression through writing, painting, or music. For others, it may come through physical activity, through running, dancing, or yoga. And for others still, it may come through connection, through talking, sharing, and being with others who understand. Whatever form it takes, healing is a journey, not a destination. It is a process of becoming, of unfolding of discovering who we are in the midst of our pain. It is about finding the light within the darkness, about embracing the full spectrum of our emotions and about learning to love ourselves, scars and all. So let us not shy away from our pain. Let us not bury it, ignore it, or pretend that it does not exist. Let us face it, embrace it, and allow it to transform us. For it is through our pain that we find our strength, our resilience, and our capacity for love. The burden of unfelt pain is heavy, but it is a burden that we do not have to carry alone. We can share it, we can speak it, and we can find solace in the knowledge that we are not alone in our suffering. Together, we can find the courage to face our pain, to heal, and to grow. And in doing so, we can create a tapestry of life that is rich, vibrant, and full of meaning. A tapestry that honors the full spectrum of our human experience, that celebrates our joys and acknowledges our sorrows, and that reminds us that we are all connected in our shared journey of healing and growth. The pain body, as I often call it, is an accumulation of old emotional pain that lives within us. It feeds on our negative thoughts and emotions, keeping us trapped in cycles of suffering. When we identify with our pain body, we believe that we are our pain. We become lost in a labyrinth of our own making, unable to see beyond the walls of our suffering. The key to healing emotional pain lies in the present moment. When we are fully present, we are no longer lost in the regrets of the past or the anxieties of the future. We are able to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, recognizing them as transient states of being rather than defining characteristics of who we are. To heal emotional pain, we must first acknowledge its presence. 
This is the first step in a journey towards inner peace and emotional freedom. We must first acknowledge its presence. This means taking a moment to sit with our feelings, no matter how uncomfortable they may be. It involves recognizing that our pain is real and valid and that it deserves our attention. We must turn towards our pain body with compassion and understanding, recognizing that it is a part of us that is seeking to be heard and healed. This part of us, often buried deep within, holds the key to our emotional well-being. By acknowledging it, we begin to unravel the layers of hurt and start the process of healing. This is not about dwelling in suffering or wallowing in self-pity. It's about bringing awareness to our pain, allowing ourselves to feel it fully and then releasing it with love. When we do this, we create space for new positive emotions to enter our lives. It is about bringing awareness to our pain, allowing ourselves to feel it fully. This means giving ourselves permission to cry, to grieve, to feel anger or sadness. It means understanding that these emotions are a natural part of the human experience and that they are not something to be ashamed of. And then releasing it with love. This release is a powerful act of self-compassion. It is about letting go of the heavy burdens we carry and allowing ourselves to move forward with a lighter heart. It is about embracing the present moment and finding peace within ourselves. By doing so, we open the door to a more fulfilling and joyful life. A Journey of Transformation, Sarah's Story Sarah, a woman in her late thirties, had always been a quiet and introspective person. She often found herself lost in thought, reflecting on the events that had shaped her life. She had been carrying the weight of a painful childhood for as long as she could remember. Her parents' divorce, which happened when she was just a child, was marked by bitter arguments and emotional neglect. The constant fighting and lack of affection in her home left deep scars on her young heart. These experiences had left her feeling abandoned and unworthy of love. She often wondered if she would ever find someone who could truly understand and accept her. She had spent years trying to outrun her pain, immersing herself in various activities to keep her mind occupied. She took up jogging, hoping that the physical exertion would help her escape the emotional turmoil within. Despite her efforts, she often found herself seeking solace in fleeting relationships. She would meet someone new, hoping that this time it would be different, but the cycle of disappointment continued. Numbing her emotions with alcohol became a way to cope with the overwhelming sadness. She would sit alone, drink in hand, reflecting on her life and the choices she had made. The temporary relief it provided was always followed by a deeper sense of emptiness. One day, Sarah decided that she could no longer continue living this way. She sought help and joined a support group for individuals who had experienced similar traumas. Listening to others share their stories gave her a sense of hope and belonging. She also began seeing a therapist who helped her work through her past and understand her emotions. Journaling became a daily practice, allowing her to express her thoughts and feelings in a safe space. Meditation helped her find moments of peace amidst the chaos. As she continued her journey of healing, Sarah started to reconnect with her family. She reached out to her parents, seeking to understand their perspectives and mend their fractured relationships. She also began to build new, healthier friendships and found joy in volunteering, giving back to her community. Over time, Sarah's outlook on life began to change. She no longer felt defined by her past, but empowered by her resilience. She learned to love herself and embrace her journey, finding strength in her vulnerability. Sarah's story is one of transformation and hope. It is a testament to the power of healing and the human spirit's ability to overcome even the most challenging circumstances. She now walks through life with a sense of purpose and confidence, knowing that she is worthy of love and happiness. Acceptance, the gateway to healing. As Sarah continued her practice, she began to experience moments of peace and clarity. She realized that she had a choice. She could continue to identify with her pain body, allowing it to dictate her life, or she could choose to accept her past and move forward with love and compassion. The Art of Surrender Surrender is often misunderstood as giving up or admitting defeat. In the context of emotional healing, surrender is about releasing our attachment to outcomes and trusting in the wisdom of the present moment. 
It's about letting go of the need to control, fix or change our experiences. The present moment is all we ever have. The past is gone and the future is yet to be. When we are fully present, we are free from the weight of our past and the anxieties of the future. We find peace in the stillness of the now. Cultivating presence in daily life. Presence is not something that is reserved for meditation cushions or mountaintop retreats. It is something we can cultivate in the midst of our everyday lives, in the mundane as well as the extraordinary. We can bring presence to our work, our relationships, and even our most challenging experiences. The ripple effect of inner peace. As we heal our own emotional wounds, we create a ripple effect that extends outward, touching the lives of everyone around us. When we are at peace with ourselves, we are better able to be present for others, to offer them love, compassion and understanding. Beyond the pain, a life of joy and fulfillment. Healing emotional pain is not about erasing the past or pretending that it didn't happen. It is about integrating our experiences, learning from them and allowing them to shape us into the compassionate, resilient beings we were always meant to be. Embracing the journey of emotional healing. Healing emotional pain is a journey, not a destination. It is a process of self-discovery, of learning to love and accept ourselves unconditionally. It is a journey that requires courage, compassion and an unwavering commitment to the truth. To summarize, Eckhart Tolle's teachings on presence, acceptance and surrender offer a powerful approach to healing emotional pain. When we stop resisting life and start accepting what is, we begin to see our pain as a temporary experience, not as a reflection of our worth or identity. This awareness is always free, always peaceful and always at peace. If you're struggling with emotional pain, I encourage you to explore Eckhart Tolle's teachings further. Watch related videos on emotional healing or mindfulness practices and start to incorporate these concepts into your daily life. Share your own experiences with emotional pain or Tolle's teachings in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights on living a peaceful and fulfilling life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.